Today uh, I'm gonna go on a uh, off-roading adventure. Uh, just kind of test out uh, my new suspension, see how it goes. Uh, so the trail I'm at right now is a Strawberry Pass. Uh, it's over here on uh, Highway 50 up in uh, South Tahoe area. And um, yeah, we're just gonna go and test out the, the, the suspension, see, see how it works. Um, see how it flexes and all that stuff. So this isn't uh, a trail review uh, video. It's just more so just me just kind of kind of testing out the suspension, see how it works and what I need to kind of fine tune it here and there. But uh, here's how the car sits as of now. All right. So highway 50 right here. So when you get to the trail, you make it right, and then you'll see this bridge with the sign that says Strawberry Creek. So a quick heads up, so if you're gonna come on this uh, trailhead from 50, it's gonna take you all the way down to 88, Highway 88, and from there, um, you can exit to the freeway. Or if you're coming from 88, uh, your end point would be here, and you jump on to 50, and uh, that's the end of the trail. So, uh, if you have any questions, make sure to uh, comment down below, but right now, we're gonna go ahead and air down and disconnect the sway bar. All right, now, so uh, I air down um, the tires, and now I'm gonna disconnect the front sway bar. So, so right now, how it's set up is, uh, you got this little pin right there, and one on the passenger side, and then once you disconnect those pins, you move it up to that top galvanized gold bracket you see right there, and then you mount the sway bar up there, which gives you the ability to uh, disconnect your sway bar, so you just flex out the front. So I'm going to start with the driver's side. So you want to turn the wheel to the passenger side. See this pin? See this pin? You want to unclip the pin and pull it out. So you got, you got one pin. Okay? So let's do the other side. So I got both the pins out for the driver and front side. So all you gotta do, I'm gonna try to do this with one hand, but so you can see it. So I couldn't connect it to the bracket one-handed, so uh, I had to stop the camera for a second. So what, this is what it looks like. Put on that bracket. Originally you had it right here, took out the pins, move it up to the bracket. Same thing on the passenger side. Now that we got the tires uh, deflated and our front sway bar is disconnected, we are ready to go. I oh, just want to show you my navigation um, application that I use, which is Gaia. Uh, focus. So this is what I'm going to use to kind of track my, my progress on this trail. So I'm going to uh, start my, my record. My record. I'm going to record this trail. So how you do that is just... Uh, Yeah, focus. Oh my god. So there's a record button right there, which I'm doing right now. So I'm gonna pin this. I'm gonna pin it. Uh, I'm at a waypoint. Save that. Uh, let's make it yellow. I'm gonna edit this waypoint. And then I'm gonna input um, strawberry pass trailhead. Oh God! Oh come on, man! Okay, fine, that's fine. All right, so I pinned it. Put a waypoint. Record. And uh, so next time I can come and can figure out where it is and how long and uh, all that good stuff. So let's get going. What you know about rolling down in the deep?
So there's a little hill. It's, uh, it's kind of bumpy, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it on four low. So how you do it is put on neutral, and then you want to shift the lever to L for low. What are you doing right now? I'm uh, track building. What happened? My uh, my diff fell. Your diff fell? I'm botting out my diff. All right, so uh, after much testing of the suspension, as you can see, it flexes like crazy and it rides perfect. And it did pretty good all the way through. However, when we went halfway, uh, we kind of got stuck. We, we bottomed out on our diff uh, and the rock was pretty slick because everything's wet and uh, Yeah, we bottomed out. We had to use our bottle jack to kind of lift the diff up and then reverse to get unstuck But that took like 30 minutes. So uh, As we did that our lockers didn't work. It didn't engage. found it more logical if we went back backtrack because uh, Pretty much if we went straight all the way through it would have been open diff and we would have been stuck anyways so the diffs and everything work great when it works, uh, but the suspension was wonderful. As you can see, it flexed like crazy, and uh, it was a great uh, opportunity to kind of get a feel for the car and see where it is, and now I can make like a fine-tuned adjustment. Or you may be asking, like, uh, what's the purpose of this build? So my purpose is to kind of, it's not an overlander, it's not a rock crawler, it's pretty much in between. It's a, what I call a weekend warrior. So I daily it on the weekdays, and on the weekends I take it uh, to go camping maybe for a night or two, but I don't do any long overlanding trips or anything like that and That's pretty much what this build is about. It's kind of just weekend warrior it could be beast off-road and then good when I needed to drive to work. So Anyway, I'm gonna end it here. So If you like what you see, uh, make sure to like, comment, subscribe and holla at your boy